Hey guys, so much because one and only, my name is AJ. Hey sheep, welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Oh, there's a pig and a cow. Is there a chicken about? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, there's another pig. Does that count as a chicken? <laughs> Maybe. It's about the only place that uh, animals spawn now uh, is around this area for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's to do with that little blank bit of grass. Don't know. Not quite sure. Today, I want to do an interior to a factory because I've had a pretty cool idea on something that I want to try and do. It involves some redstone, so it's going to be a little bit fun. And I think if we're creative, we can dress it up in a way that will end up looking quite cool now this one here is not just ice cream as you can see this is an ice cream factory and the interior of it is actually quite a little although it's, it's quite big in here it's sort of a little bit cramped for what we want to do i like because i'm not the best redstoner by far i'm pretty terrible at it i like to have a lot of room i'm not very compact with it but this one is a little bit longer and it also isn't planned for anything yet we haven't got anything outside to suggest that it's meant to be anything let's turn these shaders off and head inside and as you can see there's another cow in here hey buddy you can run the whole factory boss cow uh, but we've got this sort of long area you see that we can really sort of make a lot of messy redstone and lag the world completely out perfect exactly what we need so what i want to do is i want to have some i don't know what the the um like towers are going to be here for that's just for aesthetics that's just for fun but what i want is i want logs to go into the building and then we convert the logs into oak planks and then we convert the oak planks into where's it gone crafting tables so it's going to be like a three stage. Now, obviously, this is like uh, there's no automatic crafting that we can do here. So we're going to use tape reels like like piston tape reels to make it look like that we're converting logs into planks and then into crafting tables. It's a crafting table factory. What what Minecraft world will uh, doesn't need my, uh, crafting tables? Oh, mess my words up there. So I'm going to show you a very quick night vision potion i'm going to show you a very quick sort of uh tape deck that we're going to use it shouldn't really be that hard to do but we're going to do an example one i don't know here and then we can basically we're going to have like three of them one here one there and one there and we're going to make it look like they're going on a conveyor belt and then into a little machine and then out of the other machine will be the next block uh, and I think I think it'll work pretty well. So let's clear the inventory. We're gonna need uh, some sticky pistons and some normal pistons. We're gonna need the sticky ones for the hopper clock. We're gonna need the normal ones for the tape reel. We'll need to leave it a start and stop it, but I don't need it at the moment. We're gonna need some redstone, uh, some repeaters, some comparators, a redstone block, some hoppers for the clock, uh, a block to build on, uh, a piece of sand for the mono stable circuit. And I'm sure there are much better ways than what I'm doing it here. In fact, I am 99.9% .9 sure that there are much better ways to do it than what I'm going to do it here. But it doesn't matter because I'm doing it my way. Um, so we're going to have that there. And then this one is going to go... Nope, one above that. Something's not right. That's got to go there. Okay, so basically this block here is going to go... There and then 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 that piston is going to push it up. It's going to go there and then it's going to push it across, and it's going to go around like this. Do you know what I mean? And then we need to have. I'm going to just put a little bit of basic redstone control out of here. I should really be using a different block. Let's just take that one away. We'll use the blue ones as like the the building blocks to to, to build onto. So. To keep this really simple for not only me to follow, but for you guys to follow, uh, we're going to put a repeater on each one and a redstone behind each one. Oops. Like this. And then we're going to offset two of them. So I'm going to offset this one and this one. And we will probably be able to speed it up. Um, but for the moment, we'll just leave the full amount of delay on it. It'll just be easier that way. And then we'll just snake these down together. Like that. And like oops like that and join these up Ugh. now if i put a little button on here for the moment we should see that two of them will fire first and then the other two fire okay 
good. That's a good start. Now what we need to have is a mono stable circuit coming out of here. Because as you saw, you see how they sort of stayed on. If I leave that button there, we can use that. They sort of stay on. Well, that's not going to work. We want to have instead, we'll need a block coming out of there with a repeater on it to draw the power out of a mono stable. So we're going to use a piece of sand for that. And now if I just put this here and I put another button here, you'll see it'll just put a quick pulse through. There we go, see? So the piston heads push out and then retract nice and quickly uh, to get out of the way for the, the block that's going to be coming around. So then to automate this so we don't have to push the button every time, in fact it should actually just work like this at the moment. Let's just use sponge. I think sponge can be used to push blocks, can't it? If, if you fill them all up, but then you're going to have to remove two, you're going to remove that one and that corner there. And they should, if I put another colour in the middle, we should be able to see it move a little bit easier. Let's put a leaf block. It's going to be the ugliest tape really ever seen in your life. And that should sort of move around. Oh, it, it it squished it. I didn't know it done that. Did you know it done that? I didn't know it done that. Apparently leaf block squish. Um, let's put that there then. And then that there. So you push the button. And then the log's there. And we push it again. And the log's there. We push it again. Oops. There we go. Let's let it reset totally. And as you can see, the, the log is moving around by itself. Well, not by itself. So, anyway, let's put a clock on this. Now, a clock's pretty easy to do. We're going to get hoppers. I'm going to place a hopper down there. I'm going to put that hopper and this hopper going into each other. And then you're going to put a redstone block on top. It's been ages. It's been ages since I've done a redstone tutorial. And then we're going to get a sticky piston back that I removed from my inventory. And we're going to put that into there. And I'm going to put this one there. So you've got this. And then we're going to place a block here and a block here. A comparator going into that block. A comparator going into that block. And then a piece of redstone on each one. And boom, you're done. We can now, instead, using a, uh, instead of using a button, we can use a lever, which is better because we can now basically turn it on and off. And then the speed of it is going to be controlled by how many blocks we put into the hopper. So if I want to have a speed of, I don't know, four. That's a night vision potion. It's running out. As you can see, it, it's automatically moving that block around we don't have to actually do anything now okay and we can uh, we can turn it off by flicking the lever and it stops and then we can just start it back up by flicking the lever again and our factory what is going to be our factory then starts moving again we can speed this up if we want i can take a, f a few more blocks hey that's more of a production speed that i want to have boy is that loud Okay, so there, there's the system. Now, again, you could probably make it a lot smaller, but it's nice and basic, nice and easy for everybody, I think, to be able to follow. So let's start planning out. We can have the tape deck basically as large as we want, as long as it's, what is it, like 12 blocks or whatever the maximum it is that pistons can block. I think it's 12, 12 blocks or maybe 11 and the 12th one blocks it. I can't quite remember. It's been that long. So, uh, this is going to be the area where logs are going to come in. So, our first machine is going to push log blocks along and into another machine, which is going to house... Basically, basically, we're going to have to have something that covers up this part, like this. So, then all of this is sort of enclosed. And this part, yeah, do you know what I mean? So then you just see, all we're going to see is this middle bit here. And from this side, which is going to be the front side, all you're going to see is a block moving across. This is going to be hidden. And maybe we can alternate it with like a... Did I just disconnect something? I might have just disconnected something. Something fell off my computer. It went a doo doo doo. Uh, we could probably like alternate it with that and then a slab or something cool like that. So it looks like you can actually see it going along. Uh, so let's put down, let's get piston. Now, I think we could basically use this with one clock if we wanted to. So we're not having too many clocks going. We could have one clock hidden at the start or maybe in the middle. Uh, we're going to have to have enough room at the back here. So, like, I don't really mind if the pistons start... Oh, I don't want that one. If the pistons start about here and... 
we might want it to be down a little bit. Basically, I want the top layer to be here. Oh, and also, that's running in reverse, isn't it? That's technically running in reverse. But I think the way that we could swap it around to go the other way would be to flick these. Oh, no. We'd have to put the uh, uh, pistons in the other direction. Yes, it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. So that's going to push that way. I think that's the height that I want to add. So then the blocks are on eye level. Oops. So we're going to have that one there. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do ten blocks. And then this one, uh, well, we'll technically do like the eleventh one. Is going to go there. Just double check before we go too far. Good, it can push it. That's all we needed to know. So that's, that's, that's ten blocks between here and here. And then that's the eleventh one. And then to keep it nice and sort of compact, I suppose we could just put it there and there right so it's going to go chuk, 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 and then this one we want to be quite close as close to so the machines aren't like aren't like really big but we don't want to end up making the mistake of like powering them both so if i put that there that's good oh but that's going to be a repeater i haven't done any like real testing on this so uh that's good and then that's going to go here and it's going to have the same thing ah but that can be solved with that good well i think that's probably a good start so that means we can basically have these as close to uh, as possible so then we're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then i got rid of the piston because of course i did I keep sponging my inventory <laughs> by getting rid of the blocks I need. And then that one. And then that one. So that's that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. And then we have the next one starting here. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It might take a couple of, or it's going to take a couple of episodes to probably get this all sort of done. But I think it'll be a cool little feature of the world. So that's then the third one. We could, if we wanted to, add a fourth stage. How would we do the fourth stage? I mean, we could. It wouldn't make sense. I was thinking maybe logs into planks, into slabs, into crafting tables. But you don't make them out of, out of slabs, do you? It wouldn't really make that much sense be cool if we made chairs oh maybe we maybe we make chairs then oh, i don't know can chairs even be pushed night vision splash uh chair if chairs can be pushed uh it could be quite cool to have get rid of the sponge no so we can't we can't make a chair factory um just adding a fourth one would be really smart to really finish it off can we do anything at the beginning like what makes what makes logs or can we do a stage between the two hmm nope for the minute, we'll leave it like we'll leave it with the with the three stages. I think it makes sense. I could maybe shift it over a stage, but I don't really want to. We could just do it like um uh oh yeah that zone. We can do like for the vans or the the lorries to pick it up so they can back in here. They can pick them up and drive off, and we'll have like a, a pile of of crafting tables ready to go. Okay, so I think you guys know what we're doing here. I'm gonna just hook basically this part up to all of those, and I'll be back didn't really need to cut away i basically just put a line of redstone down i thought it was going to be more work but i thought no nah, we'll just do it together why not so i've got them all hooked up so there's a repeat there repeat there and then one two three four this block doesn't actually need to be there because it doesn't matter if that connects up to each other because it's just connecting up a block back but just to keep it looking neat 
with the straight lines on them all. I just decided to keep the block there, but it doesn't really matter. Just like a nice, a nice straight line. But obviously the signal isn't going to reach all the way. And I think if I put a lever here, we can just see how far it goes. Looks like it's going to go perfectly to there. So I'm going to put that one in there. And then that one in there, and boom, it goes the whole way. So everything's all powered. Oh, weird how when you light it up, like the lighting in the building changes with night vision potion on. Like how, like like as soon as you flick a night uh, a redstone dust on, it just changes it all. Really quite weird. So now for the um, tape reel, we need to time two of these. But I can't remember which two it's going to be. We want this one to go. We want no, we want that one to go and then that one to go so I'm gonna try that one and this one May maybe it would just be a good idea to try <laughs> uh, if we do that and then that's gonna power first so we want to move that one and that one which is good because it looks like the opposite to what we've done over there and we want to go in the other way so it should, it should be good um, not sand there you go. And then... Uh, button. Oh, I don't know if it is going to do it because we haven't got the mono stable on here yet, have we? Yeah. We're just going to have to assume that we have done it right. Let's get the mono in. <laughs> uh, so, we can come straight off. Cow, don't start this. Uh, we're going to put a repeater there, and then we're going to put a normal piston down here with a piece of sand. I'm using sand. You, you don't have to use sand. You could use a sticky piston and a normal block, but, I mean, it's just cheaper in survival, so I've always done it that way because you always got to think about a bit, a bit of survival in there. And then we'll have a repeater going in because I don't really care about the delays or anything like that, and I should really put blue underneath here i'm using blue underneath anywhere that i'm putting redstone so when we change the floor up if i use a command i'm not going to break all the redstone or anything stupid like that and so that's the mono stable so now this should oh eh, duh, uh, and then there no yeah yeah Okay, yeah, the blue block is moving along. Isn't it? Is it not? Well, I think it is, but I think it's moving... It's moving every other time. Why would it be moving every other time? Oh, because I've got a block missing. Okay, it moved. It moved. It moved. Okay, sweet. And then... Hopper clock on here then. So we want uh, hoppers back. That's not how you spell hopper. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing a, a bucket of KFC in here. Okay. So that's going to be the hopper clock. We'll have the redstone block on top of here. Click. We'll have the sticky pistons going into there. We'll have... The blue blocks to go there, and there, there, and there. Comparator. Feels good to do a bit of redstone again. I always enjoy it when I do a bit of redstone. Like this. And then our lever can can be anywhere. Or like our start stop button can be anywhere. We'll just put it there for the moment. Let's put two redstone inside there. Okay, I think it's good. So if we now, sorry about the noise, do that one and that one and then that one and that one. We should have it. Okay, stop it. Stop it making a noise. So this one is going to be in this whole bottom left and top right. This one's going to be logs. Now, I think, like we said earlier, it'd be really cool if we had something in between each one 
to really emphasize that it's like rotating so it's gonna be that one and that one they're missing so um carpet will break does string break i think string breaks as well i've got a feeling string breaks yeah i saw it break that's fine that's not a problem um slabs don't break i'm sure we can use slabs let's just try it with a slab night vision splash Oh, maybe I had it. Why did it go up? Oh, yeah, 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 duh. Like that. Yeah, okay, so slabs work. So slabs, I think slabs are going to be a good idea. And it's just going to divide everything up. So if you put a slab in between each one. Which still isn't an easy thing to work out. And it's going to be something like this. And if you imagine a block was along here. Like the front of the machine that definitely looks like logs are moving along a conveyor belt really cool okay maybe there's a better a thinner block um i, I don't think trap doors will work i don't think you can push trap doors it's a thinner block but i'm, I'm, I'm sure you can't yeah you just break it. Um, what other possibilities are there? Pressure plates won't work. Um, carpets are just going to break, I'm sure. I think I think just a slab is 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 a safe it's a safe bet. Okay, so that comes out of there, and then we have planks in this next one. Like that. It's the top one and the bottom one missing. We flick these in between. And then craft. Oh, can you? you yeah, yeah, yeah. You can push a crafting table. Oh, I thought for a minute there we had done all this and you can't even push a crafting table. You can because I've done. I've made them before. Like a, um, like a reversing uh, flick between like a crafting table and a hidden wall. So we know we can do that. And then again, flick these out between here. A crafting table factory. Okay, moment of truth. Does the factory work? No. <laughs> Does the end one work? Oh, the end one's working. Okay, it's just this one that's, that's not working. Why is that not coming up? Oh, because it's not... It's just not reaching. That's fine. Um. Yeah, and then... That's, that's the mistake there. Okay, okay, okay. I, if I wait until it comes around... I need to put a block in between those two. It's working every other one because we've got a block missing at the moment. So we do that one. That goes across. There we go. And it's flawless. There you go. Awesome. So I think next episode we're going to start actually dressing this up. Um... To, to look like a, a machine sort of going in one and and then it, it, it transitions into all the other ones that's really quite cool and it's not all that hard is it look it's just a string of redstone behind the back a few pistons and a little clock i think i've done it in a relatively simple way hopefully everybody watching this who wants to build it can follow along i tried to do it in a way that that everyone could understand and explain it along the way. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. There's a block missing somewhere here somehow. It's got messed up. Look, it uh, might have been me at the beginning. But uh, we'll fix it next time. Bye!